Tell me if you can see me on the screen. That way. A little you see more. The top of my head? Yes, right? That way a little more. Too far. Left. Too far again. That way. Good. These are the big ones. Oh, they're heavy. Big ones. Oh. Alright. Water. So I got three bags of these shiners. Uh, one two and a quarter inch fish, uh, four pounds worth, which is about 700 fish. And then I got a bag of four inch golden shiners, and that's five pounds worth. I don't know how many fish that is. And I got three inch golden shiners, which is five pounds worth. So I'm putting 14 pounds of golden shiners in this pond today. It'll help my bass out. Well, as you can see, I got me a new better fish feeder, a Texas Hunter. Uh, I think it holds, oh, uh, 200 pounds of fish food, something like that. I have to look it up again. 175 pounds, maybe. And today we're going to. Um... Oh, there's a big bass right there. He's gonna, he's gonna love this. So so far this summer, I've taken out about 12 pounds of bass. I just put too many in, and I've got too many hybrid bluegill, and I think they compete with my bass right now. So I have a lot of 14 inch bass that are only about a pound and a half, a little skinny, but um, I'd originally put 75 largemouth bass in when they were that big. And um, a lot of them grew up. I mean, but every bass I catch is right around 13 to 14 inches and just under a pound and a half, something like that, 1.2 pounds a lot of them so i've taken a lot of those 1.2 1.3 pounders out put them in my neighbor's pond i ate a few they tasted pretty good but anyway um we're just waiting for these uh golden shiners i'm going to put in here to uh acclimate to my pond there's a little baby bluegill 
they're uh, spawning all on this side of the pond, the shallower bank. Those banks on the other side of the pond are a lot steeper. So they got more room over here, flat ground. They're being protected by their parents. Bass hadn't been hitting them as much. Every now and then I'll see one come up here and take a baby bluegill. Much more over here. Yeah. Got some structure down there. It's a honey hole log. I've got another honey hole bush, two other honey hole bushes out there. Oh look, here comes a bass up here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Right to the left of that honey hole log. He's going right underneath. There he goes right by it. it looks like they're getting bigger. The last couple months I think I've noticed a difference. I hadn't caught one in a few weeks to weigh it yet. I need to catch a few and weigh them. Let's see if they're getting bigger now that I've taken several out. Spawn right in front of the feeder. This is a nice feeder, by the way. I think it's 175 pound. It might be it might be the bigger one. I don't know. The solar panel right there to keep the battery charged. This mechanism so much better than my old feeder that clogged every time it rained stupid thing over there i emptied all the food out of it cleaned it out i don't know if i'll use it again but uh this shoots it out further it doesn't ever get clogged you can see how much feed you've got here um you can uh, all kinds of settings on it so i've got it right now feeding four times a day about four seconds each time and it Shoots it halfway across the pond. Works well. Well, it's almost been 15 minutes. There we go. Let's cut the first one open. Which one is this? Oh, uh, that's the... Nope, that's my timer. I don't know which one I should open first. The small ones or the big ones? Probably the bigger ones. Let's do the big ones first. I don't guess it really matters. There they go. I'm the big golden shiner. Man. Look at that. You're going to go have some babies. Hopefully. Not many dead ones. The big ones, at least. We'll see when we get to the little ones. Let those stay in that bag for a little while. All right. There's the little ones. <sighs> if I put my hand in there, will they pinch me? No. <laughs> got a bunch of them. I'd say we got almost 50. We don't put it on the pond video. Catch them crawl, Dad. There we go. Alright. Let's see how many we got. We got a bunch in there. Is that all of them, or do you have some in the other bucket below? Them? No, this is all of them. They're all in this bucket. All we right, got. Good. I'd say we got 75 crawdads.
Well, I was hoping to use this drone to get some good shots of me releasing the crawdads and the minnows into the pond from above. But I let my son fly this drone a few weeks ago. And he promptly crashed into power lines. I've crashed my drone before, but I've never damaged it. This time, one of the front legs and the body was damaged. And I'm trying to repair it. But, I messed up. I don't know what I... I can't do anything with that. It's just broke. I broke it. So, how does 4K video just go through these tiny little wires? That's crazy. It goes like that. I, I can't attach that back to itself. That broke so easily. Ah, I guess I'll clean up. Wait for the new one to come in. No point in putting all this back together. I'll just save all these parts. Oh well. Maybe someone will want to buy these parts. Since they don't make this drone anymore, someone might want to buy it. Yep, it's recording. Alright. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take these crawdads. Maybe I should try to dump them. Nope. Nothing under the edge. Okay. I got this string tied to this. Okay. All right. Film this up. Get up close. Yeah, don't slip and fall in. See all the crawdads in there? There's almost a hundred crawdads in there. These minnows are coming up to it. Are the crawdads swimming around at all? They're down in that algae on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. If you ever get depressed, just do a yeah. headstand and look at the world from upside down. Look at that. It just makes me happy. <laughs> well, maybe these card heads will spread out and reproduce. Feed my bass. Where y'all going? They're like, hey, let's go over here. <laughs> Kind of just stay together. Except for that one. Just sitting there.